my lips are dry one sec Aquaba, my beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's my Mishi. it's been a hot minute um but we're not going to discuss that in this video um because we will learn another video but today i'm trying out all of Lush's new Afro hair care. It literally only got released, I think, like last month or month four, I can't remember. Really recent. Uh, I was really blessed enough to be sent all of the products um, through one of my old work colleagues, funnily enough. Fun fact, I used to work at Lush during uni and after uni. So yeah, um, they're just a beautiful company. As you guys can see, I've got some super, super expired braids. Um, this will be my fourth week. See, all of this is my natural hair. So they've become a lot messier quicker, um, but that's okay because I'm gonna be taking them out and showing you guys me using all the products for the first time. Even though these products were sent to me, these are my 100% honest, um, my honest thoughts and feelings. So yeah, I'm rambling. Let's get into it. Here's my bag and I'm just gonna cut the ends off and hopefully not chop off my real hair. I think this will be okay. Right. <coughs> <coughs> Why are you coughing into the food, bro? This is cut straight in. Oh, nice. Do an answer. You <laughs> Wow, my hair is so much. So nice to film my scalp like this, like they look this water. Okay, cool. So now I've taken out all my hair. I'm gonna do a pre-screw before I use products because that's what I would usually do anyway. So I'm just gonna treat it as my normal routine. Also, there's so much buildup. I think um, the shampoo will need some help, basically, because it's a co-wash, I think. Anyway. So to co-wash, I'm gonna be using some aloe vera gel. It doesn't have to be anything special because I'm literally just using it to detangle my hair. Um, and then I've also got a wide tooth comb. Um, yeah, just to help with the process. I should probably get a hairband actually. Look at the build up guys. This is not even build up, this is just like, I put a lot of product to the front towards the end. So it's just not too cute, but it's okay, you know? You gave me a, a quarter of a truffle. <laughs> no, I gave you half that. That was not half. Now my hair is somewhat detangled. I'm gonna go through all of the new Lush Afro hair care products with you guys. So there's six new products and I have all of them. What I really like um, about the ingredients list is if you flip on the back, you'll see that the natural ingredients are in green, whereas the synthetic ingredients are in black. So it's really easy to pick up from a really quick glimpse um, how natural the product is. And I appreciate that, so thank you Lush. Mm. It smells exactly like the, um, they used to have this, is it Queen Bee? The hair oil and citrusy. It's a very beautiful smell. Almost smells a little bit like a lemon sherbet in the best way possible. I'm sorry, my hair looks wild right now. Anyway, yeah, I like that. It's 
not like a heavy lather, as you can see, but honestly, considering it's lathering with a combination of having a lot of product buildup and I have super hard water, I'm not happy. But what I really like about this is it actually feels quite, it's got quite a good slip actually. Like I could fully detangle my hair with this. Come on. Let's see. Okay, round two. Okay, definitely is already lathering up so much more than the previous wash just from like one swipe. Oh my gosh, yeah. Verdict, I like this a lot. You can definitely feel that this is a co-wash as opposed to a shampoo because it's very moisturizing, guys. Oh my god, I love this. Why is it making my hair pop as well? Sorry, have you seen these curls? Okay, cool. Okay, so I have two conditioners to choose from, actually, I didn't realize. So one is called Power, one is called Glory. Glory claims to be rich with a coconut cream. And this one is uh, Power, so give me strength. Sweet fusion of hydrating almond oil, sweet potato, and thickening maple syrup to make your hair smell sweet. Hmm, let's smell them and decide. Ooh, it smells like something you could eat, like a pastry with like some kind of filling or something. Okay, so now Glory. Hmm. This is nice and fresh. It reminds me of another smell in Lush, but I can't put my finger on it. A little bit floral, actually. It smells really good. I like, I like to look both of these. And can we appreciate the colors as well, guys? So gorgeous. Maybe I'll just choose my smell. I think I'm gonna go with Glory. I like both of them, so don't get me wrong. But I'm gonna go with Glory. So soothing. Ooh. I'm gonna add heat to it because I, I have low porosity hair. Heat always helps my hair out when I'm doing a deep conditioner. Okay, so to say I had a couple trials and tribulations with this um, conditioner detangling. Personally, I don't think it's got a lot of slip to it. Let's see how it performs with a bit of heat. Oh, just remembered I wanted to show you guys how much of this I used. So yeah, like, I'd say a third of the pot is left. Um, make your own decision. So here in the UK, it already gets dark at like, what time is it? 2.40 and it's already getting dark. Three more products left to use. Um, they're all meant to be part of like the lock routine, LOC. I guess it's LCO actually. That's the order I do it in anyway. Yeah, and it says you should use the curl power on damp hair. My hair's not gonna dry if I do it on damp hair. So I'm gonna really quickly go through with the blow dryer and just like tension blow dry it and then we'll style it somehow. Okay, it's a nice spritz as well. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's not too like concentrated it's not it doesn't yeah it's just okay it smells really good though i got it just kind of on this whole like sweet it smells a little bit like candy actually but not in an overwhelming way and then i'm just gonna go in with the heat protector and this is the trust main one i've literally had this for years um i just need to finish it This product I'm super excited to try. It's Curl Power. I swear one of the conditions is called Power as well. Power and Glory, right? Anyway, so this is a hair cream. I think you can use it for 
My colleague's daughter, she's mixed race, she used it um, just to like define her curls, but I'm pretty sure you can use it like to actually style the hair as well. So I'm gonna do twists with it and then keep it in for like a week or two, don't know. Let's see. Again, similar throughout the whole range. You kind of get like this citrusy, fruity, slightly florally smell. This one again, smells like something you could eat. Then I'm gonna follow up with Renee's Shea Souffle. Um, so it's got shea butter as the first ingredient, coconut oil, avocado oil, castor oil, almond oil, bay oil, jasmine absolute. It's very gorgeous ingredients in here, guys. And it has very kind of thick butter-like consistency, I would say. Let me just do some parts up and then I will show you guys what I'm doing. well thought through um, line. When I was working for Lush, the one thing that really irked me was the fact that they didn't have any hair care products specifically for black hair. You know, they had r &B, which was a moisturizer, which was really, really great, but nothing else in terms of like conditioners and shampoos with Afro hair in mind, essentially. So it's really nice that they, it's nice that they kind of took on board the feedback and actually had a Afro hairstylist or hair care specialist involved in the process of formulating the products. I love, love, love the avocado um, co-wash. Um, I love the way it lathered, love the way it felt, and I would definitely be repurchasing that one. I think I'm gonna take a miss on the conditioner. Obviously there were two that were available, and I only tried one. I didn't really do anything extraordinary with my hair um, compared to my other conditioners. It didn't really give me a lot of slick, um, I like the smell of it, but it doesn't justify the price tag, which I will leave here. The super milk, I was really impressed by. Usually when I try um, kind of liquid conditioners, I get a bit, I, I have a few reservations just because I feel like it won't really do much for my hair. But this a little bit went a long way. And in terms of the other two products, I have here with no lids but I want to show you guys how much product I use. I love this one, it smells really good, it feels really moisturizing. This is nice, I like this one. The curl power as well is really nice, a little bit goes a long way as well. I'm not sure how this would work out with a wash and go. I'll be intrigued to, to try it out, but it doesn't feel like a product that will clump kind of coily curls. If you're like a 3A to 3C, this might work for you, but if you're within the type 4 hair, um, I'm not sure if this will work for a wash and go, but definitely for a protective style like this, super moisturizing, um, and I would definitely recommend. That's the end of my review, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends. Um, try out the hair products at Lush. Um, I'm aware that they give samples out, so if you want to give any of these products a try, and yeah, I will see you in the next video, guys.